Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome to the start of a brand new campaign series here today. We're going to be playing Crusader Kings 2 on the Game of Thrones mod as House Stark. So guys, if this video can hit 500 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload here today and release the second episode instantly. We're going to be playing as House Stark. Like I said, everyone is a Stark at heart at the end of the day. It's been years people are trying to get me to play this mod, and I finally got to it. So guys, I can't stress this enough. If you want to see more Crusader Kings on the channel, whether whether that be the Game of Thrones mod, I can definitely see myself playing like some of these scenarios here. Please leave a like and a comment. And if this video gets a crazy amount of support, we'll probably do some more Seven Kingdoms um, factions and maybe some of the other scenarios. We've got the War of the Conquest here, Aegon's Con a Conquest, the Dance of Dragons, Blackfire, the Blackfire Rebellion, Robert's Rebellion. We're going to be playing on the Clash of Kings scenario here today. We're going to be playing as Rob Stark, the Young Wolf, the King of the North. I could definitely see myself playing as Stannis as well, maybe a couple of other the Seven Kingdoms. So, let's get Stark right into the campaign. Now, uh, game rules wise, uh, R plus L equals J, Dance of Dragon Sports. I don't really know if I should change this, so we'll just sort of leave it as is. But yeah, guys, uh, I am a noob at Crusader Kings, so expect a lot of dick ripping in this series. Expect, expect a lot of noob plays. I've only sort of tested this mod out to see if it actually works, and I've only done... I think I played as Norway, just as a bit of a test in the vanilla, but this is really my first campaign and my first series on YouTube, so... Uh, Please take to, please do take that into consideration when watching me, because there's going to be a lot of fuck-ups. Okay, so firstly, King Rob, I declare that my brother Bro uh, Robert left no true-born issue of his body. The boy Joffrey is a bastard, pretty much that's what he's saying there. So we've got an option here. We can, of course, agree with Stannis, or we can condemn him. Lies, of course. I'm going to, of course, yeah, I'm going to agree with Stannis, which is fine. My name is Rob Stark of Winterfell. I refuse to bend the knee to the Lannisters. They must pay for the murder of my father and the abduction of my sisters. That was my northern accent. Spurred on by my loyal vassals, my bannermen, I have been crowned the King of the North and the Trident, claiming back the ancestral birthright of my noble house from the corrupt and degenerate Iron Throne. I now must choose a queen. Right, so we get to choose our queen here. I've been, con I've been betrothed to Roslyn. However, in my moment of weakness, I laid with Jane Westerling. Now, in the show Talisa, or Talia, uh, the Eastern, uh, from Essos, that bitch. I can't remember her name. She may be carrying my child. Do I risk angering the phrase to maintain her honor, or do I seek an alliance to, to, to secure the war? Now, I have a sort of strategy for this game. Um, so... Hmm, we'll just sort of see how we go. I made a promise to the phrase which must be kept. Jane's honor must be preserved. I will marry her. There are better alliances to win the war. Now, we currently have 27,000 divisions of, sorry, our units here of Starks. So, can I actually see how many levies the Frey occupy? Now, where is Frey? Can we actually see? Because I want to know how many will disappear. Because we should be right without the fray divisions regardless. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, instead of, instead of going with the fray, I'm going to actually marry J uh, Jane, marry her for love. So we'll do that firstly then. Okay, so with my army, we've got Rob leading the line. Uh, actually, who's my best commander? Brynden, a big 30. I might let Brynden command that then, and we'll let, we'll let Rob command one of the flanks. Who else can lead? So Howland Reed of the Neck. Okay, so we've got 27,000. Basically, my strategy is to beeline straight for King's Landing. If we can get there, uh, we can go to Harrenhal, push through here, we can take King's Landing, we can get the war over done and quickly. Because what I sort of found, if you get sort of, like you can pick off these Lannister, inc that's another way you can do it. You can pick off these little Lannister incursions in skirmishes. But what the problem is, is the Reach coming in and some of their other vassals as well is always a problem. Okay, that's the crossing, so Freys have gone. Right, okay. Okay, let's go through the stuff now. So we have King Rob now, who is married to Jane Westerling. We've got John here. Now, can I invite you to the court? No, I can't. Uh, we've got Bran. Um, I don't think most of the major kingdoms will want to marry into them. If I could betroth Bran to someone, who could I betroth him to? 
<laughs> Osha. That's quite funny. And just a Hillsman, a wildling and a Hillsman. I don't particularly want to do that for Bran and Rickon. So council-wise, the hand of the king is Roderick Cassell. We have the option to improve holdings, peaceful. Uh, I'm going to improve my holdings if I can. No, it doesn't really look like it's the best. Oversea Province. Let's just oversee Winterfell. Roose Bolton is the Master of Law. So we'll go with improved relations with Stannis, I think. Uh, Master at Arms. They're leading the troops. Let's collect taxes within Winterfell itself. And with my Whisperer, we can sabotage the economy. Let's sabotage the economy of the Iron Throne, because that's where we're going to be pushing firstly. And we can perform charity within Winterfell. Right, minor titles here now. We need a regent. I'm going to give Hoster Tully, my grandfather, the command. Bodyguards wise, let's go with Brynden, who's Osha. Let's try and get some bodyguards in here as well. That will help. Jester, I don't really want to do. Keeper of the Swan. Uh, who could I go with? Probably my mother, actually. Keeper of the Swan. Swan food, I'm pretty sure that is. Where is Catelyn? Catelyn Stark, perfect. Master of the Horse. Who should be Master of the Horse? Probably Brynden, if I'm being honest. Master of the Hunt. Ha! <laughs> John Umber. Perfect. High, High Almona. We're going to need a priest. So who's a... Wasn't there a Royce priest? Yep, perfect. Cupbearer. Someone I trust. Uh, Mathos. I don't particularly want to do a, a King's Land or a Northman Afray. Galbert Glover. Galbert Glover will lead the cup. We'll let him um, lead the van, lead the cup. Right, okay. So technology-wise, um, it's sort of an even playing field here in Westeros. Military-wise, we can't get any more. Intrigue, we've got some plots. Let's, let's actually try and assassinate Joffrey. He's not of age just yet. He's 13. So we want to try and knock him off as quickly as possible before he comes of age. Uh, we've got prisoners here. We've got Selos, Jaime, Tyre, okay, Willem and whatnot. Okay, um... The problem is, if you execute these prisoners, the Crown has prisoners of their own. Sansa, if I'm aware, yeah. Sansa is a prisoner with Joffrey, and Arya's missing. However, if you go to Harrenhal, I'm pretty sure you can find Arya there. So before we knock off Jamie and a couple of others, I want to try and rescue my, my sister. I want to try and get to King's Learning. So warning vassal inheritance, I think that's fine. Pick an ambition. Um, let's go with... Son. Oh, there's a cute little dire wolf there. I didn't even notice. Okay, so we want to try and have a son. That's going to be our ambition. Ambition. We can push this claim here. Right. Uh, that's fine. Special actions possible. Demand prisoner. Okay, so we can demand some prisoners here. Let's try and do that. Oh, I don't want to ransom my prisoners. Was that... Get off this for a second. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I don't want to ransom them, no. So, basically what I want to try and do is make a beeline... Make a beeline to King's Landing, try and take it, and we pretty much can take it by force. We've got 27k. Before the Lannisters, before the Crown Land troops, before the Reach just sort of consolidate their forces, and we could get fucked. That's the only problem. I wish there was sort of a mod to have a permanent mistress, because we need children. We need to marry off Brandon, we need to marry off Rickon, because if we lose them, we are going to lose the campaign. We, Even though I don't like bastards... We need them to continue on the campaign. So I think that's pretty much it. We've gone through our positions. We've gone through our main uh, uh, titles. We've gone through this. Right, okay. Now, at the moment, we're currently attacking Joffrey. We're also hostile towards Stannis Baratheon. It's, we've got 94 wealth in the bank, and we're losing 2,000. Now, what I'm going to do is... Uh, we are going to be risking invasions from the Greyjoys. If you guys can remember in the show, obviously, Theon attacked Winterfell. Now what I'm going to do is, because we don't have the the money, these are some of the decisions we can go through. So we can try and employ the Golden Company. How much is that? Over 900 dragons. Right. What else have we got here? Show me dragons, Valyrian blades. Wipe. That's quite cool. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to ask a loan from the Iron Bank, and I'm going to get 200 gold from here. So this is going to allow me to get mercenaries, because I want to hold mercenaries in Winterfell, because if I've got an army here, it might sort of deter the Ironborn inv invaders while we focus wholly on solely on taking King's Landing. We need to take that as quickly as possible. So I'm going to sort by strength, because I think that's the best. We could obviously go for the best, but then we're not going to be able to afford them. So let's go down here. So 130, we get 1,200 Ironborn Raiders, or we can get Lothar, a Cell Sword Company. We get ships out of this as well. We get 1,200. And they're going to spawn instantly at Winterfell. Saves me throwing troops up there. 
So we'll go with these Ironborn Raiders. Let's hire you here. Let's give you a commander. I don't want to obviously give you anyone really that good. So Hellman here of Tall Heart and Rick. Uh, I don't trust Rick. Oh no, Rick Castle is not too bad. I'm not going to go with him though. We don't need these ships. Let's not pay for them. Let's leave them there. So let's leave this in Winterfell just to hold, just to defend essentially. Okay, so I think that's pretty much ready. Now, uh, so how much are we going to We're going to lose a little bit more. So let's try to speed things up a bit. Now, I'm going to try to avoid to use my space bar in this because, um, as you can see, it's quite loud. That's why I don't usually use it in Hearts of Iron when I play it. But we might need to. Okay, Lord Paramount Hoster has received... Balon has declared war upon me. All hail Rob Stark, the first of his name. The King of the North! Okay, that's excellent. Right, so let's try and... Like I said, we need to beeline to King's Landing. We've got a 5% up here. We need to take it as quickly as possible. King Rob and Jane Westling have gotten married. It is customary to pay the dowry. There is no one to pay it to. Right, that's fine. Okay. So we've still got 27,000 by the looks of it. It doesn't look like we've actually lost a penalty. An impressive woman has recently arrived at your court. Apparently the reason for her visit is to arrange tr trade with local merchants. While people don't think much of her at first, now you've heard many couriers praising the savvy. Perhaps you should make an offer. Um, everything is just fine as it is. Vassal opinion. Vassal opinion minus 20. Is that for everyone? If that's it, I'm not going to do it. Because... Because, um... I don't want to risk any wrath of my vassals. Are there any factions? Okay, yeah. Okay, factions in my northern kingdom. Hugo. And... Master Helmet of Torrent Square. Dark wings, dark words. A raven has arrived from White Tree with the word of Mansurator beyond the wall. It cannot no longer be denied that the ancient enemy of the others has risen again. It's time for all men to decide their petty differences and claim. Oh, I can't go north, okay? Ready the men and ride north. Nonsense. Leave these barbarians. Okay. Just a bunch of grumpkins and snarks. Um, right, the north is under attack. The Iron Islands is, is the very... Fuck, okay, the very freedom of our kingdom is at risk. So, we can uh, we can seek for aid from the old bear. There's no way Jorah Mormont is going to send troops. Okay, we're pushing... Oh, what's happened here? Right, your grace, I'm afraid. Yep, that's fine. Okay, right. So, we've still got 1,002... Fuck, I'm going through here. Um, yeah, we've still got them in Winterfell. Where, where are the Ironborn? I don't know. I forgot to go through my uh, prisoners. Yeah, oh, prisoners, because it just popped up with this, righteous imprisonment, it reminded me. Yeah, so we've got the option to either take out Willem, we can take out Jamie as well. The thing is, Sansa is still, uh, yeah, she's still imprisoned by Joffrey. So, yeah, we could behead Sir Jamie now. Uh, more than likely, Rickard Cast that tried to imprison, we have a 52% chance. So we can imprison Lord Karstark. I'm not going to, though. Because that could just fuck me up here. We need to push to King's Landing. Once we finish off Joffrey, we'll be laughing. We'll be fine. We just need to make a beeline to him now. So it looks like we lost a thousand of the Frey troops. Um, yeah, so I could knock out, I could behead them, I could hang them. But I'm not going to. So I'm going to pretty much now focus on making a beeline to King's Landing. There's a couple of armies here. We should be right. Victory. We just need to hope that, like, Stannis isn't here or anyone else. We just need to make a beeline to King's Landing, make them capitulate, and then we'll be laughing. Right, we're fighting here now. So there's 13,000 of Stannis' troops here. So we're besieging King's Landing a bit. The wall is under assault, and the knights want... Sh I, c I can't. Grumpkins and Snarks. <laughs> right. How many more days before we can actually push it? We just need to hope that we don't get jumped here. My prisoner, Lord Jamie the King, Slayer has come out. <laughs> Let him rot. Alright, how far away are we from actually tacking it? Perfect. So it looks like the Tyrells under the command of whom? Uh, I can't really see, but I reckon Loras Tyrells at the helm of that. Only 28 days, and then we can push for King's Landing. 
Come on. So it looks like they're both battered. Your Grace has come to my attention. Designed as Regent. Who's this? I thought I had a Regent. No, no one has been designed. I thought I... Oh, I made it my... Um, uh, I made it Hoster, but did Hoster die? He, he does have a tendency to die quite early. Yeah, Hoster died. Okay, we made the Blackfish the Regent. Right, have 14 more days. Right, what's the what's going on in the north? So there's 76 Greyjoys here. We've still got those Mercs holding on. Right, come on. Eight more days. And then we can take King's Landing. And then that should make them capitulate. Right, that's assault. Yes, your grace, I'm pleased to report I have captured some high-value prisoners after the successful siege of the Red Keep. I hereby turn them over to your judgment. We've got Joffrey. Send them to the dungeon. Excellent. So now has that made him capitulate? That's 100% to capitulation. Let's offer peace. Let's demand. Excellent. Yes. Lord Edmure of the Trident has usurped the title of Lord of Harrenhal from Tywin. Excellent. We've, we've, we've knocked up the war in episode one. Excellent. The war the war of the Northern Independence has ended. King Rob won the war. Okay. The war is won. The Lannisters are in our hands. Ned Stark is avenged. That's the most important thing there. Northmen and River Lords alike have sacked King's Landing in all it's worth. And now I stand before the Iron Throne itself. Okay, so we've got an option. Stannis and his heirs should have it, as it is theirs by right. The throne does not concern me. I shall leave King's Landing and come back. A power vacuum shall be left. The first claimant to enter King's Landing shall gain the throne. Um, at, in this timeline, uh, Stannis has already murdered Renly. And Sansa's back as well. Stannis and his heirs should have it. We have won the struggle for independence. Okay. Excellent. Right. The war is won. Our enemies have been crushed, and the Loyalists have been defeated. Joffrey, one of your points, has been brought before you to hear your judgment. I shall judge his family justly. I want their heads all on pikes. Marjorie, Waters, wa uh, okay, so we've got, we got Joffrey, Marcella, Tommen, Tyrion, Lancel, and Tyrek. I shall judge, um... I want all their heads on pikes. <laughs> um, okay, so we'll behead, we'll hang Tyrion, we'll hang Tyrek, we'll hang Lancel, we'll hang Tommen, we'll hang Marcella, we'll hang Marjorie. Uh, Your Grace Joffrey has been brought before you for himself. Now I'm going to behead him. Now you do get negative traits of, you do get negative traits by beheading. So we'll behead him, right? In the north, it is said, who, yeah, the man who passes the sentence should swing the sword. So should Joffrey receive his sentence from me? Yeah, you do get the stress trait here. Yeah, so I don't want to do this too much. But yes, it is our way, the old way. There are too many things to worry about. Uh, right. Okay. My lord, who's this? Let him rot. Okay. The north is at a state of war. We should send ravens. Surely, yeah. Okay. Your grace, excellent. So at the moment, it looks like everything's gone to the Iron Throne. So is now Stannis the king? Yep, King Stannis upon the Iron Throne. Excellent. Out of curiosity... Does he want to marry Shireen to... I just gave you the Iron Throne, man. That should have been, like, one of the conditions or something. Strong claimant on the Trident. We're defending against the Greyjoys. So I reckon for the remainder of the next couple of episodes, we'll be focusing on them. That's a pretty big Greyjoy incursion. So let's now move you north. We need to deal with them. I, I, we've, we've won, so... We don't need to deal with them. We've got the Ironborn army uh, war going on. So we've got some special character options here. Who Who is still my prisoner? 
We've still got Jamie, Titus, and Willem. So let's execute them. Let's hang you. Let's hang Titus. I'm going to behead Sir Jamie the old way. The man who passes the sentence should swing the sword. I do get the, the stressed trait, but let's roleplay it. And we'll get rid of Gareth here as well. Let's hang him. Excellent. So, righteous imprisonment. 46%. I don't want to do that just yet. So, the levies are being raised. Lack of children with a guardian. Sansa Stark. Oh, yeah. I want to move to um, Harrenhal. Because then we might get Arya back. We could marry. Um, marry. Do some marriages. That's something we can do. Let's just sort of see what happens. Executed there or been executed. Let's just let things speed up a bit. So there, so that's gone into Stannis. What the hell's this? Message from whom? Carl Makalo for Sansa. I'm going to decline that most definitely. I'm not going to let them... Okay, so we're going to have to deal with the north now, and more than likely, uh, wildlings. So, we'll send you up north. We need you to get up there instantly. Okay, marriages. Who can we marry off? Who can... What can we do? So, we could marry Robert Aaron to someone. So, let's marry Robert Aaron. If it works. I don't know. I don't even know if you want to be betrothed to Sansa. Oh, so you marry Sansa. That's a potential option. Um... Okay, I want to try and marry Bran and Rickon if we can. So, does Dawn have any potential princesses? Ariana <laughs> married the Viper. You're joking, right? What about um, the Viper? Most of those sand bastards are gone. Who's the leader of House Tyrell? Mace. We executed Marjorie. Okay. So, yeah, we, we can't marry... Shireen to Bran or someone, no. Okay, what's going on in the Westerling now? Uh, so, Cersei's still alive. Oh, Cersei's been wedded to a Dothraki. Kalpono. <laughs> That's absurd. <laughs> that really, really is. I don't even know where Daenerys is in this. Is she here in Pentos somewhere? What it, where even is Daenerys? Alrighty, I found Daenerys. I just, she's 15 at the moment. I'm just curious to see if I can actually marry her into anyone. No, I can't. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well, she's there somewhere. Okay, right, what else? We, so we're getting messages for Sansa. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the Seven Kingdoms and try and find some marriages for my uh, brothers. Try and get Bran, Rickon, Sansa uh, married off. Okay, I went through some betrothals, so I'm going to marry. Uh, actually, I'll let it pop up, because I've just gone through. I don't know if it's going to accept. Okay, so we found Aya. Um, joyous news, your grace. Aya has been found alive and well. Uh, she was previously thought dead. That's because we passed through Harrenhal. Perfect. I, I want to marry her off, actually. So she's 10. Who can we marry her off to, out of curiosity? There's a couple options here. <laughs> we can marry her off to uh, Brendan Tully, who's 57. I'm half inclined to do that, if I'm being honest. I want his line to come through. He's an awesome commander. And then we probably can control these children to some extent. Let's do that. Bit of inbreeding. Wincest. More like incest. More like wincest. Um, so, yeah. I want to try and marry Sansa to Robert Aaron. And I also want to try and marry Brandon to... There was a Glover, and I also wanted to marry Rickon uh, to a Blackwood. But I think there's a rebellion going on at the moment. One child acts a guardian, my liege, Rickon, and yes. Okay, so Rickon has been betrothed to Glover. There's not really any major princesses in the world at the moment. So what I went for is to try and get some marriages within my own bannerman, within my own family. Uh, uh not, yeah, I guess family to some extent, but, uh, what the hell's happened here? Okay, don't worry. I, I just got confused then, because of all those fucking lines. Right, okay, so let's see the relation here. So it's Glover, she's one. Uh, who is she? Okay, her father is Robert Glover, and Robert Glover's 
Yeah, brother is Galbert Glover. Okay, so that's what's happened there. Okay, we've got the 23 divisions pushing... Uh, 23,000 men pushing north to deal with the Greyjoys. So Sansa has married Robert Aaron. Excellente. And we've married Bran to Bethany Blackwood. Well, we haven't married. We've betrothed them. But I think there's actually a Blackwood. So we're only fighting the the Greyjoy. So we're going to need ships at some point. We're losing 400. How? Okay, so there's a fair few Greyjoys up here. We should be able to deal with them quite easily, though. Okay, the king on the Iron Throne. In the no Oh, shit. Okay, what's happened here? In the name of the Lord of Light, I, Stannis, of the House Baratheon, the first of my, na my name, promise to pledge and guarantee in the sight of the Heartfire that I shall protect and defend the realm in all ways. Supported. Today, King Stannis was crowned by the High Priest Melisandria and formally received the title of King of the Andals, the Rhoynar, and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, and Protector of the Realm. He's no king of mine. That's my only option. Now, does that mean we're at war with Stannis? Have I sort of shot myself in the foot here? Putting him on the throne? Maybe I should have put myself. I don't know how I could have done that, though. I don't know if I could have. Does that mean we're at war with Stannis now? We've lost there in the north. Oh, yes, fate smiles upon me. My wife, Jane, is pregnant. Perfect. At least we're not breeding with those yucky fray bitches. Ugh. Right. He is no king of mine. Does that mean we're at war? No, I don't think so. One child lacks a guardian. For whatever reason, I can't seem to give her one. Oh, well. Right, let's go through the council and stuff again. The council positions seem fine. Minor titles. It's fine. Brynden is my designated regent. Handmaidens we can't get. Laws wise. Okay, so how does it go? Brandon, Rickon, Sansa, Aya, Rickard, and Arnulf. Okay, so Rickard Karstark is fifth in line. Okay, military wise, we're still gonna. Yeah, we need to pay back to that 250 gold for them. Factions in the north. Leader, Bolton, 26%. We're going to have to deal with them, Lord Bolton for the North, Crown Loyalists. Once we finish off with the Greyjoys, we're going to have to deal with that, aren't we? That's still a, a pretty big army. So they've taken two castles here for now. The wall is under siege, Grumpkins and Snarks. I can't justify sending troops up there. But the war is won, thank God. <laughs> we killed Joffrey, that's the main thing. Uh, Tywin's still about, and his daughter Cersei married to a Dothraki horsemaster. Uh, no longer treasurer, so there's an open seat on the council we're going to have to uh, to deal with. Alrighty. Let's now merge up with the... Actually, we don't need the mercs now, if I'm being honest. Let's disband them. Let's push north and get rid of these Greyjoy bastards. We're about to lose... Breakstone, new Lord Commander, Jon Snow. Really? Huh. I want to try and... In oh, I don't want to do that. I want to, I want to invite him to court if I could. Lord Commander, Jon Snow. Auto-saving. Alright, let's push through and hit these Greyjoy bastards. They're fleeing. Here we go. Let's try and slow this down a bit. Combat is the best teacher king. Rob has become a proficient commander. Brilliant commander, skilled commander. Excellent. So we've got Rob, we've got Brendan, and we've got Howland Reed. We've nearly knocked out this Greyjoy incursion. Excellent. Absolutely smashed them. We've flipped it to 35% our way. Let's run them down and, and retake the castles that we lost. And what we're going to do, we're going to continue to mop them up, get rid of these three, uh, get rid of these, get get these three castles back, and then we're going to invade the Iron Islands. That's what we're going to do, and hopefully some of these marriages come off all right. We can have some more children. But Stannis Baratheon is currently king upon the Iron Throne, and at the moment, what is his opinion of me? Minus twenty-seven. Yeah, 
at the moment. It, it does look like we're allowed to be there. So it looks like the Veil, vale, the Reach, the Westerlands, and Dawn. Martell, ha House Martell, House Baratheon there, House... Uh, House Tyrell, House Lannister, and the Greyjoys are still there. But it looks like the Trident, the Crossing, and, and we're all independent for the time being. So... Like I said, we'll, we'll take off the Greyjoys. We'll deal with the Grey. Uh, we'll deal with the Greyjoys in the north, and we'll invade the Iron Islands. I think. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you have enjoyed the first episode of this House Stark series. It's been an absolute blast. I'm thoroughly enjoying it thus far. So thanks for watching. Leave a like and a comment if you haven't already. If this video can hit 500 likes within 24 hours, I will do a double upload here today and release the second episode instantly. Social media links if you want to stay connected with me, with me, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, maybe even Crusader Kings 2, maybe Hearts of Iron, uh, a paradox or a strategy game you haven't picked up, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below for cheap and reliable games. Okay, that's pretty much it. Patreon and Steam, a Steam group linked in the description below as well. Come and join the community on Steam. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. My name has been Simsy. Take care. Goodbye. I'm really close cinematic shots here, pushing through the bridge. Oh, look at... <laughs> that was probably the shot of the video there.